Hey everybody, Matt here, and today I want to talk about this, the Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed wireless gaming headset, which not only is a mouthful, but definitely one of the more confusing products I've ever had on this channel. As always, for those of you who don't want to watch the entire video, here are my kind of final thoughts. At $250, this headset is massively overpriced. Yes, the 50 millimeter graphene drivers, in my opinion, sound great, and the headset's really comfortable to wear for long periods of time. But the microphone, the feature set, and the software suck and bring this thing down to a level that is very hard for me to recommend it to any of my viewers out there. All right. The way that I phrase it in my Amazon review is this. Is the audio quality great? Yes. But it's not $100 better than the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless. Are the features good? No, they're not. And uh, the fact that you can get a headset that's significantly more packed with features and good ones at $100 less, again, it, it just brings this one down to a level that I just don't understand who it's for at this price point, okay? It has Bluetooth, but you can't use Bluetooth while you're gaming, okay? You can either have the headset set to where it is connected to your dongle on your PC and you're listening to your game audio, talking to your friends in Discord, or you can have it switched to Bluetooth. So you can't take a phone call while you're gaming with this headset like you can the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7 Wireless. There's no LED indicator that your microphone is muted. Um, and not only that, but speaking of the microphone, I really do think this is the worst microphone I've ever experienced on a wireless gaming headset. It's the only one that my friends ever said, dude, you sound like shit. Most of the time when I'm swapping between headsets that I'm testing out, which they've probably heard about 20 at this point, I've reviewed maybe 10, 15 on this channel. When I'm swapping, they can tell, right? They'll notice when I go from the PC38X to the HyperX Cloud 3 Wireless or any wireless headset for that matter. This was the first one where they said, dude, go back to whatever you had on before. Um, I understand that there might be videos out there on the internet in terms of how you can make the audio or the microphone quality sound better on this headset. I think it's bullshit if a consumer buys a product and then has to do troubleshooting on their own to get it to function the way that it should have out of the box, all right? If you go to a dealership and buy a car, and as you leave the lot, you notice it's only going 60 miles per hour, you're probably gonna turn around and take it right back. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't have to go home and do your own troubleshooting as to how to turn off the governor or some shit on your, on your vehicle, right? Like it should work the way you expected it to out of the box. And while the audio is good, that's pretty much the only thing I can say about it, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, I'm gonna do the what do you get in the box and the feature set of the headset? Talk about the audio quality, the comfort, and then go into the microphone and the software because this whole blue voice thing I feel like is a, is a selling point. You're definitely paying for it, but I don't think it's any good. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, what do you get in the box? So you get the headset, which comes with a detachable microphone. You get your USB-A to USB-C cable and you get a 3.5 millimeter cable. And before you say, well, you never even unwrap these. Dude, the amount of USB-A to USB-C cables and 3.5 millimeter cables that I have lying around um, is more than could last me a lifetime. So no, I'm not gonna unwrap these and add them to the box if I don't need to. You get your wireless dongle and then you get swappable ear cushions, which I'm gonna get into later in the comfort section, but I love the fact that they include swappable ear cushions uh, because as someone who's a big fan of open back headsets that always have kind of cloth cushions, that was the first thing I did was swap out the leatherette memory foam for the cloth memory foam instead. And then you get this carrying bag, which, um, cool. You know what I mean? So moving into the build quality and feature set of the headset itself. At first, when you open up the box, you don't feel like you got gypped out 250 bucks because undoubtedly this thing looks and feels really nice. Leather headband with a decent amount of cushioning there. Metal frame, right, with plenty of adjustability. Like I've got what I consider to be a big head. I've reviewed headsets on this channel before that I complained that they didn't you know, adjust well enough. These fit with room to spare, right, very comfortable. The ear cups do rotate, which is a nice feature for those of you who like to pull one of these. The ear cups themselves are a uh, kind of no fingerprint plastic with this kind of metal on the outside with those little ridges. You'll know what I'm talking about if you ever hold this in your hand and you see it. But overall, the build quality is good. 
it's once you start getting into the features and looking at it that you uh, realize everything kind of starts to unravel. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. On the left ear cup, you have your power on, power off switch. All right, great. You have your volume up and volume down dial. Great. This again, like the HyperX Cloud 3 Wireless, it controls your overall Windows volume. It's not headset dependent. Then you have your mic mute button. And what's neat about that is that you have no idea whether you're muted or not. Because it produces an audible tone, but there is no LED indicator on this like there is on basically every other wireless headset I've ever used. So there's that. You have your USB-C charging port right there. And then you have your Bluetooth button, which at first I was like, okay, neat. I have the option to just press a button and turn Bluetooth on or off so I'm not draining the battery. Like on the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7, it's a, it's a button right by the power one. You got to hold it. I was like, okay, neat. No, that's when I figured out very quickly, you can't have Bluetooth and your game connected at the same time. So that's what you use to switch between the two of them. On the right ear cup, you've got your 3.5 millimeter jack. What I did almost immediately after I started using these was just stare at the SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7 and wonder how in God's name a headset that costs $100 more doesn't do anything that this one does, okay? There's no game chat volume mixer on here. Um, there's no LED indicator. Bluetooth can't work at the same time as your game volume. I just, that was the moment for me where I was like, I, I can't recommend this thing on my channel. Like there, there's no chance. The audio is good. Like I said, feature set sucks. So moving into the audio quality, like I've said 20 times in this video already, the audio quality is what carries this headset. I don't know if 50 millimeter graphene drivers or just graphene drivers specifically are snake oil or buzzword or whatever it is, but man, they sound amazing. I heard details in games that I haven't heard really ever. Like Destiny 2 sounded amazing playing this. Baldur's Gate 3, Red Dead 2, man, like the audio is there. There, there's no denying that in my personal opinion. Now, the, the presets that it comes with in the software, I think you have to tweak with those yourself, right? I ended up going with that kind of smiley curve that you see if you ever mess around with equalizer presets, but I think they sound great. I do not use surround sound. I think surround sound on headsets, headphones is just fucking stupid. I've never liked it. I've never thought it sounds good. Same goes with this. So if surround sound is your thing, I can't speak to that too much because I hate it and it always sounds awful to me. But these do offer surround sound. I think they come where they are licensed, licensed for Dolby DTS headphones. So yeah, they're, they've got the fancy, the fancy shit if that's what you're into, okay? But audio quality, good. Graphene drivers, no idea if that's what the big difference maker is here. But what I can tell you is there are not many gaming headsets out there that offer graphene drivers right now. To my knowledge, the only ones the Astro A50X, which is also made by Logitech, which is like 400 bucks or 350 or something, very expensive. And then the Corsair Virtuoso RGB XT, another awesome named headset. Whether or not that's as good, better, whatever than this one, I can't say, I haven't bought it, but yeah, the limited research I could do, graphene drivers seem like something, that they've been around for a while, but I think they're very pricey. So. Maybe that's where your $250 is going, is the graphene drivers. But I don't think there's any way it can all be going to that when you have all this licensing stuff on the side. Blue voice, Dolby DTS headphone, Discord certified, right? Like, I think your money's going towards that as well. So audio is great, no denying that, okay? Please don't leave this review being like, this guy thinks, the, the, the. no, audio is good, all right? Now, in terms of comfort, I do find these to be very comfortable. Like, I can wear them for, very long periods of time. I've worn them with my glasses or without my glasses. The biggest difference maker for me was not wearing these leatherette ear cushions. Swapping over to the cloth ones, biggest difference maker for me. My ears don't get hot in them and, and they're just lighter feeling. You know what I mean? Like I just, I feel trapped when you got these leatherette ones on. So I love the swappable ear cushions and, and the fabric ones are, are way better. But yeah, I've worn this thing for long periods of time didn't find it to be uncomfortable, which is kind of just the litmus test in general. The wireless distance on these is pretty good. 
So not that I'm gonna give you a tour of the house or anything, but what I always do to check my friends is I go and grab a beer from the fridge in the garage, okay? To do that, I've got one, two, three walls, all right, one of them being a brick wall uh, before I'm in the garage. And they could hear me up until the fridge, which is kind of the, the norm. Anytime I get into the garage is where all headsets cut out, and that's where this one did too. So the wireless range on it is good. So now I'm gonna get into where I think the biggest problems lie, which is the microphone quality and the software. All right, so ironically enough, I'm actually recording this segment using the PC38X, uh, and you'll see why in a little bit when I do the mic test, but this right here is the Logitech software. So you pick your product, you go into it, you have headphones, microphone, and then sampler. Under the headphone section, you get to pick your overall volume. This again is changed by the dial on the wheel. You have your microphone volume and then side tone. I have it maxed out, huge fan of mic monitoring slash side tone. I need it on my headphones so I you know, make sure that I'm not yelling when I can't hear myself using a closed back wireless headset. You then have your audio, uh, your equalizer kind of presets. These are the ones that come with it default. And then you can also make your own. That's what I did here. That's why I got my little equalizer. You can go and look at other presets people have made, most popular, most downloaded, whatever. But the problem is you have to have a Logitech account to do that. So just be aware you're going to be signing up for something else. They have all these different kind of uh, game profiles out there. Pretty nice that you can do that, find the community stuff. You can then go into surround sound. I have that disabled. I hate surround sound. If you love it, I'm very happy for you. Then you get into the microphone which, yeah, I'll do a mic test later so you can hear it, but again, there is just so much you can do. So you have your input game, your output level, you have your equalizer, your signal cleanup, you have your de -er, thresholds, attacks, releases, all of this. I had a hard time using this software. This is where I ended up having to go and just find other presets that people had because I couldn't find one that I liked, and more importantly, there wasn't one that my friend said sounded good. The only thing that I said that sounded okay was just disabling this and going with the default, all right? So th there is a lot of stuff that this thing can do, but that doesn't necessarily make it good. Okay, so this is going to be my favorite part of the video here. So right now, PC38X, right? Just best all-around microphone on a gaming headset, in my personal opinion. But this is it. Pretty good, right? Let's move over to the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless. All right, so this is the mic on the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless. You can tell I'm using a wireless microphone pretty much immediately, but this is still passable. I don't think people would complain and say, ah, man, you sound like shit in that headset. You know what I mean? It's a decent mic, okay? Wireless headset. What can you, what do you expect from a wireless headset, okay? Let's use... Logitech G Pro X now. All right, here she is. This is the microphone on the $250 Logitech G Pro X2 Lightspeed, 20 other monikers and names, right? Um, maybe you think it's not that horrible. All right, that's fine. This is just the default microphone, no blue voice enabled. Let's go ahead and turn Blue Voice on. Uh, I've got my screen sharing up there in the top left so you can see the software and see what I'm clicking around on. So this is Blue Voice is not enabled, right? Blue, yeah. The guys who made the Yeti microphone, same, same people. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Blue Voice. So this is the, I think, the original preset. I think, and this is going to get loud, I think crisp and warm is what the initial preset is that it comes on all right this is where my friends started kind of laughing at me so you've got classic radio right am i on the do i sound like casey Kasem right now broadcaster one broadcaster two am radio right do i sound am i on an eight i don't know man warm and vintage i don't know what that means but anyways i had to go and create an account so i could get custom presets and the first one i downloaded the number one most downloaded is this one Studio quality podcast plus blue voice. Do I sound like I could be running a podcast with this one? I don't know. You tell me. Here's how good this one is. And then uh, the second most popular one, I think, was this one. Discord and gaming. Um, yeah, 
I, I recorded myself using these before. I thought they all sounded ridiculous. I think crisp and warm was the closest one to like, if you could, if you could tone it down a little bit, maybe it would sound fine. But, uh, yeah, just, I don't know. I, you're paying for this blue name, dude. And I just don't think for the company that made the Yeti mic, like this, this just isn't that good. So anyway, I just leave it disabled for the most part, just so I don't have to fuck around with it. But there's your mic test, fellas. All right, so to quickly wrap all of this up, I'm returning these. Audio quality and comfort, nice. Everything else, dog shit, all right? You shouldn't need to be a fucking audio engineer in order to use a software or to try to make the microphone sound good because I don't think you're ever gonna make that microphone sound good. So I apologize if you're a huge fan of Logitech and their headsets, this one's just not for me. Um, if I could get a headset that had that audio quality and the features that come on something like this, God, that'd be nice. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're close, but we just aren't there yet. I'm going to leave some codes for some games at the uh, end of the video like I always do. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the section below. But yeah, man, graphene drivers might be a thing, but the rest of the features, uh, definitely not a thing. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend. Catch you guys next time.